Hey folks, it's August 8th, uh, nine weeks ago today, I was getting prepared to get admitted to the hospital. Uh, tomorrow will be nine weeks from my brainstem surgery. And I'm coming to you from my childhood home in Elk Grove Village. Uh, not a, a really long planned trip, but uh, was able to use mileage points to kind of pull this off. And uh, you'll see no coincidences in this universe. So. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, not this past Saturday, the prior had heard some things about honoring your mother and your father. And it kind of had me thinking that, you know, I miss my mom and she probably misses me and haven't seen her since my procedure. So no better way to kind of show that you're doing okay to your mom is to sit with her at length and, and show her that. Um, but was able to do some amazing things in my short three days here. Um, I'll start with the first miracle is when I got to Fort Myers to fly out on United, I, I don't have status with United. And so I don't usually fly, I fly typically American. And uh, I have TSA pre-check and the TSA pre-check was so long, you know, so long that I was like, I'll take up my shoes and uh, go through the regular line. It was much shorter. And when I was showing my ticket, I guess through my employer, I have like the baseline status on United, which is, is like silver premier. And the guy goes, no, this is your line. It's the premier line. And so I literally went straight. I didn't have to wait. I went straight to the front and didn't have to wait in either line. So, you know, first kind of, hey, you know, if, if does, something doesn't feel right, you know, or ask questions, you know, not, not assume that you're going to have to sit in uh, the TSA pre-check line for a couple hours. So that was, you know, started out, it was a good trip. And then uh, when I got to Chicago, um, you know, had the opportunity to see almost most of my cousins on the Shapiro side. So my Aunt Judy uh, and her two children, one was in from Atlanta with her kids and, and her other, uh, my cousin from Israel was in with his wife and, and their kids and their, both of their spouses. So I got to see, uh, you know, two of my other cousins, um, and so it was really an amazing time to, to sit and talk and think about, you know, <laughs> what we've been through and, and also, you know, the special things we've done as a family, um, which is really, you know, kind of the essence of my Jewish friends is really sharing our experience and our, and, and with you all. And so got a, a lot of uh, joy from that. And then got to visit with my aunt, my father's older sister. He was one of three children and an older and a younger sister. Got to see both of them. She had was in is in re rehabilitation and she's uh, dealing with her stuff. But it was great to see my aunt Vivian and and spend some time with her um, and my uncle Dave. So anyway, just you know, Sunday if that wasn't enough, it was kind of action action packed full day. Um, as a friend of mine who I wish to have your birthday, Avi on this channel, uh, he's one of my Jewish friends. Hope he'll uh, you know come on and and spend some time and you'll meet him as well. But a really special guy. We have a lot of history. We go back way back. And uh, he has surprised me on a few occasions. So he came to the Torah dedication last September. And he surprised me in Miami uh, nine weeks ago today. You know, just to be there for me as I prepared for this surgery. So not too often that I get to surprise my friend Avi. And, and I'm not one to be quiet. Uh, secrets in the Shabara house are hard to keep. And so was able to reach out to his wife um, and tell her my intent to surprise him. And she said, oh, it's great. Yesterday was Avi's Hebrew birthday. And so he wished me a blessing in the morning, you know, health and thus. And I was just so tickled that I was going to be able to surprise him. We had a beautiful lunch with him and his oldest son, Dovi. And, uh, you know, just a lot of good time uh, to just spend time together, not expected. And how much uh, that means. And then I was able to kind of round out the day, uh, a friend of mine from high school, Matt Phelps. Uh, and for those of you that, you know, find out that I was in Chicago, that, you know, it wasn't action packed. It wasn't time. I'll be back in November. Um, but, you know, again, hard uh, to see everybody when you're on here. And, and my intent is not to anybody's more than or less than kind of the schedules worked out. And, uh, and so it's great that was able, able to see who I was able to see. And we'll be back in November. We typically come here uh, the week of Zach's uh, passing and, you know, which usually corresponds with Thanksgiving. 
and we get to see a lot more people are in town and, and enjoy the cold Chicago weather that it brings. So I just, if what I shared with you today kind of encourages you to reach out to those or make some of these unplanned trips, sometimes those are the best. You know, you get to see people. And I was able to also connect with, probably, I didn't mean to lean this out, my favorite part was some of my neighbors, Mrs. O'Donnell, Mrs. Duffy, and Mr. Hamilton, who knew me as a small child. So it's great to see them uh, and spend time with them. Also see who, them, let them see who I am as an adult, kind of, you know, where I've evolved and where I'm at and also hear from them. It's, it's really neat. And so I look forward to coming back and spending more time, but also using this uh, channel as a vehicle to kind of communicate and connect with those that are far apart from us. And then before I sign off, uh, you know, I know this has been almost six minutes. There's a boy who's having surgery this week in, in Arizona who we were connected through this um, and really just wish him nothing but success in the procedure and, you know, all the things I'm excited to watch him have his impact on the world. His community surrounded him with a lot of support and continues to do so. And I'm so touched that we are connected through this and uh, look forward to kind of being support to each other. I'm only a couple of months ahead of you and, and very excited, uh, you know, as somebody who's young, who's tackling this on, you know, the impact that they'll have and, and how they'll be able to touch others in the ways that, you know, they didn't even know uh, that they needed to be, you know, kind of uh, touched and, and the strength that you give others in, in sharing your journey. So wish you all the best of the rest of the week. I'll be back in touch, but I wanted to give you a snippet of, you know, kind of what I had uh, first three days of this week. It's been too much to share at weekend. Thank you, and we'll talk to you soon.